Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Right now, I'm very, very fortunate to be sitting next to Peter Baxter, who's one of the co-founders of Slam Dance Film Festival. Peter, how are you doing this morning? Very good. Good morning Excellent. to you. Excellent. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too. So, can you kind of give me a little bit of background on how the whole festival started? Um, I know, I understand that it started in 95, and when you guys first showed up, you kind of just showed up. We did, yeah, without much clue, I think it has to be said, in 1995. But we were determined to succeed. And uh, all of our films, though some of the filmmakers didn't really want to admit it at that time, had been rejected by Sundance. Um, but back then, there were very few opportunities for these low-budget films to be seen. And if you didn't get into Sundance, that was really uh, difficult at that time to sort of get your work noticed. So uh, we decided that we would uh, show uh, these low-budget films without distribution, without any star names. Uh, first, actually, in the University of Utah down in, in Salt Lake. Okay. And then we moved up the hill to Park City. And we didn't realize that we were going to carry on slam dance for other filmmakers. But we realized at the end of it, because it had gone so well and so many positive things had come out of it for so many filmmakers, that we should continue it for filmmakers like us to give filmmakers, emerging filmmakers, an opportunity to showcase their work that they otherwise wouldn't, wouldn't have. And that's what we've continued to do. And some things at Slam Dance have changed a lot, and some things haven't. Uh, we're an artist-led organization by filmmakers for filmmakers. So if you've just been hearing, actually, from Alina and Layla, um, the program has come back to the festival. Um, you know, they've, they're giving back now to their community to help create then the next Slam Dance. And uh, that's how it's sort of been developing, evolving over all, all of these years. You know, the big change has been the number of submissions. Yes. So sort of the growth, really. Growing every year. Development of independent film. So here we are again in um, 2018 in Park City, ready to start it's amazing. our 24th Slam Dance. Well, we're f fortunate to have you guys back, and we're so fortunate that it continued all, all these years because you guys have been such a great resource for independent filmmakers and for up-and-coming filmmakers on the cusp of their, their career and their greatness. And, I mean, you guys have produced some of the greatest, um, Christopher Nolan, Mark Forster, Jared Hess, Seth Gordon, Lena Dunham, and the Russo brothers, just to name a few of some of the uh, alumni that you guys have, have have produced out of Slam Dance. And speaking of the Russo brothers, um, this year's kind of a big year for them at Slam Dance specifically. I understand they have a big grant going out um, to a winner of, um, is it something that they're choosing or is it, how, how does that work? Yeah, well, yeah, Joe and Anthony are, are alumni at Slam Dance and as you were speaking, their first uh, uh, film, Pieces, was yes. at Slam Dance in 1997. And uh, yeah, so many uh, really now well-known filmmakers. Prolific filmmakers. Yeah. Uh, walked down the halls at Treasure Mountain Inn. This is the first time they showed their work. And I'm sure we're going to see a great number of you know, great emerging talent this year. And in a few years' time, we'll be saying the same things about those filmmakers as well. But Joe and Anthony first showed their film at, at Slam Dance. And um, I learned two things about them, um, that their family could fill an entire theater at Treasure Mountain Inn. <laughs> and uh, like really a lot of filmmakers at Slam Dance, I think, and generally this, this determination to succeed no matter what. And um, one uh, non-Russo came into their screening, Steven Soderbergh, and he offered um, to make their next film. Wow. And so these are some of the great things that happen at Slam Dance. Steven's an alumni as well, and he really was attracted to their work. And yes, they've just, I mean, they're just completing the biggest budgeted film in the history of cinema, Avengers. And they're going to be with us this, this weekend. And they're giving back to a festival that helped them at the beginning with this amazing fellowship award. It's $25,000 to the winner of, uh, it could be any artist at Slam Dance that they're giving this to. So it's to. no one particular type of film, it's no. could have just the, yeah. the most standout film at the show, basically. Yes, exactly. It could, be a, it, could be any, it could be any artist or any other programs that we have. Um, and as importantly, um, it includes their mentorship. And mentorship is a very big thing at Slam Dance. Absolutely. You know, we're a year-round organization. It's not just here at the, at the festival that we, we have Slam Dance. We have Slam Dance year-round. And they have proved really over the years um, by giving back to the community um, their great support um, of emerging filmmakers themselves, certainly as, as programmers, uh, but also as, as to individuals that have genuinely, consistently over a period of time provided this mentorship to emerging artists. And now we've come to this point with this amazing fellowship. So we're very fortunate to have them as, as, as partners. And really, they, they kind of embody, really, 
um, the, 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 the sense of community at Slam Dance. Absolutely. Um, there are many programmers like Anthony and Joe that spend countless hours um, going through all of the films that we have and spending time with filmmakers, supporting them. In, in, all, in all kinds of ways. Not just showing up for the film, but being there at all steps of the process of making a film. Because as we all know, film is a collaborative process, and it takes a team to, to make a film. And so it's great to hear that, that these alumni come back and step in as mentors and as resources for younger filmmakers who may not have the answer to all the questions that they, they have. So that's what a fantastic, fantastic thing. And I understand the Russo brothers are giving uh, somewhat of a panel discussion, um, two, two brothers, 20 years. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about, about that discussion? Yes, that workshop is part of our Polytechnic program, actually, which is being presented by G Technology. So we're very fortunate to have them as yes, a sponsor. Absolutely. And what they're doing, by the way, is not just sponsoring the program here at the festival, but taking actually this workshop out on the road to colleges and universities around wow. the states. Wow. Wow. So, so we have some photos here of Polytechnic right now. So this is this is part of the program right here. And, and can you kind of just explain how Polytechnic works and what it is exactly? Yeah. So um, we've just been sort of speaking about this community. And we have these really uh, amazing educators now at Slam Dance. A lot of alumni, like Joe and Anthony. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lance Weiler, who has a, a piece in the program, a de-escalation room, which is also featured in the, in the, in the DIG program Absolutely. as well. Um, and you know, industry uh, professionals as well, who are giving freely of their time. And this is a free program. We want to make sure that you know, this is accessible to everyone. It's a free program at Slam Dance here this week, but also all these other places that we go to, it's free. And in many ways, it sort of bridges um, that time in your life where you maybe have made a short film or a, you know thinking about making your feature or just made your feature and it's been sort of it, it, it's been born out of this sense of I wish I'd known those things before I'd made my first feature okay and so we have all the, these great you know alumni that can share their experiences of what really practically to do and not to do learn from my, my lessons and don't have to go through that yourself basically yeah, which is uh, huge that's yeah and that's part of sort of you know part of what we do in terms of wanting our artists to be able to sustain healthy careers and to come together and feel as though that they are, are supported and sort of come out the other end and say well I this is what slam dance this is what Slam Dance did, did for me. Excellent. We only have about a minute left, and I kind of want to just get into DIG, the Digital Interactive and Gaming. And you kind of spoke about the de-escalation room, which I think is a, an amazing uh, project and an idea. You guys partnered with Columbia University to, to make this happen. And it, it's all about de-escalating um, kind of hot situations, I guess you could say. And how does that, mm. how does that work? Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. Yeah, it, it came out, uh, the sort of the germ of this came out of um, uh, Twitter actually and uh, rival gangs in Chicago and a student noticing at Columbia that um, with social media you know it's, it's, it's supposed to be a you know a positive experience but here are two rival gangs actually using social media to escalate a situation and create a very negative situation and so um, with Lance leading a, a students and other collaborators it's a very it's a, you know stress it's a yeah, collaborative, collaborative, collaborative effort here they started to experiment with, uh, with, with, with ideas on how to de-escalate situ situations on social media. And out of this has come this de-escalation lab. Um, it's going to be at Slam Arts on Sunday okay. um, from noon. And, uh, and it's, it's going to be a really exciting environment. We're, we're, we're inviting people here in Park City to take part of that as part of the experiment. Yes. And they themselves to find out how you know, they, their thoughts on de-escalation as well. Excellent. Well, I think it's a fantastic idea and a fantastic time and place to, to try it out and to test that idea. Peter, I thank you very, very much for joining me today thank on you. the couch. And we look forward to spending time at Slam Dance this year. And definitely get by and check out Polytechnic and Dig. Uh, where can people find out the schedule for these free events? Is it on the website? Yeah, it's on slamdance.com um, and hashtag uh, Slam Dance 2018, and uh, we're present on social media as well, and, and all the all the usual channels, Excellent. Instagram and Facebook. Excellent. But please, the most important thing is come up and see us at, uh, at, at, at Slam Dance, and of course, very importantly, 
we never sell out of tickets. We've sold out online, but we always keep tickets. Keep reserved tickets. Yes, and they go on sale this morning. Excellent, at the box office at Treasure Mountain. That's right. Absolutely, well, we'll be right back to continue our, sh our coverage of Slam Dance and Sundance Shorts right after this break. Stay with us.